440. You're going to withdraw, but 1B. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 12 1B, right? 12. And PDB on 12. Style. We are inside 10 minutes to our Heat 1B. Inside five to the five, as we like to talk about it in hydro lingo. We've had to count down. The boats are in the water. We have been told they will be cleared to come out on the water at the six-minute mark. That does not mean they have to come out at the six-minute mark, but they can. It is our Heat 1B. It's the 2021 Race for the Southern Cup in the Lake Guntersville Hydrofest. Heat 1B will be sponsored by and presented by Again, Redstone Federal Credit Union. And to the fine folks at Redstone Federal Credit Union, we thank you for your support of the 2021 Lake Guntersville Hydrofest. I may be from out of town, but I saw their offices driving through town a couple days ago. You go right by them. Redstone Federal Credit Union stepped up big time, sponsors of our Heat 1A and Heat 1B. Let's take a look at who's going to come out on the water. We are expecting four boats to come out here. It'll be the U-40, the Beacon Plumbing, Dave Vilwak, 67-year-old Dave Vilwak, the winningest driver in the history of unlimited hydroplane racing, getting back in the cockpit after a six-year absence. We're going to find out if he still got it. Dave Vilwak, the Miss Beacon Plumbing, U-40. It is Tennessee Orange trimmed in black. Also got the U1, the Goodman Real Estate presents Miss Home Street, Jeff Bernard behind the wheel of that black and gold hydroplane. It's got some blue and white on the front canard wing and on the horizontal stabilizer at the back of the boat. That may be a little difficult to see. Thus, keep an eye open for a black and gold hydroplane. Rounding out the field is the Chartreuse and Royal Blue. We used to call it Chartreuse and Carnival Orange, but now it is Chartreuse and Royal Blue. The Royal Blue came up at the meet and greet on Friday. I was talking to one of the owners, Shannon Rainey, and I said, we need to know what the shade of blue is. Jeff Ayler, you can appreciate this. We've had that Chartreuse and Carnival Orange for years, and I've been talking to Shan going, you got this thing blue. I need to know exactly what kind of blue. She didn't get it. And she went up to a young fan. I believe his name was Colton. And she goes, Colton, what shade of blue is that? And he goes, looks like royal blue to me. And she goes, royal blue it is. I'll miss the carnival orange, but it's a beautiful boat, the royal blue with the chartreuse. And I'm sure but they got that paint mountain. from the Clintock preferred finishes out of Kentucky. That's their main paint supply. Okay. There you go. Mom, but I have one can you text Kelly and Kate that I'm you. on? Carnival orange is still on the U11. Right where the blue ends and morphs in toward the back of the boat and the chartreuse, there is a lightning bolt in there, and it is carnival over. So you still got it. We'll get that tabulated in. <laughs> we'll have it. All right, checking a watch here. Six minutes, six minutes to the start of Heat 1B, presented by Redstone Federal Credit Union. Inside six minutes, Dave Vilwalk in the Beacon Plumbing. Jeff Bernard in the Goodman Real Estate presents Ms. Home Street. Jamie Nielsen, J and D Hydraulics out of Auburn, Washington. And just as I did with Covington, I make a comment that everybody must know where Auburn, Washington is, and probably most of you don't. Just a little bit south of the city of Seattle, on the west side of the mountains, by SeaTac Airport, not too far. It was my residence up until last September when I moved over to the east side of the state. 8-1-B. Five minutes and 15 seconds. 5-15 to the start. Heat 1-B, Redstone Federal Credit Union. We got boats on the water. We got boats coming our way. Five minutes. Five minutes to the start of Heat 1-B. So we'll pick them out of the sun as they come our way.
Absolutely gorgeous conditions here on Lake Guntersville. The cloud cover filters out a little bit of the sun and the heat every once in a while. And the water conditions are great. Top end of the race course, Jamie Nielsen driving the 11. Chartreuse, middle of the blue, J and D's. Jamie Nielsen is right there. 
up the backstretch. Bernard now starts to open it up a little bit, but just a little bit. He's got about three, maybe four boat lengths up the backstretch. Jamie Nielsen's hanging with him, Jeff Hale. Bradley work into turn number two. Bernard has the advantage on the inside, shorter way around, and Goodman Real Estate presents Miss Home Street. Nielsen back in second, and JD's about six boat Nick them off the turn. Bernard in front. Bernard is in front, swings it out to about lane number two. Jamie slides out to about lane three, maybe three and a half. Coming down still very close together. Good racing here in our Heat 1B, presented by Redstone, Federal Credit Unit. Now it's Jeff Bernard, out by a full rooster tail. As they go down toward the lower end of the race course here on lap number two, and it is two of three times around this two and a half mile race course. Bernard on the inside, Nielsen on the outside. Nielsen still hanging back there. Staying within the rooster tail of Jeff Bernard, at least through the corner when there's that big wall of water off the skin fin. But now you see Jeff Bernard start to move it out. He's got a full rooster tail now. He's got clean sailing. He's also got Jimmy Shane up here who's talking to him on the radio, and he's going to tell Jeff where the good water is. Jeff Ayler, I think I can tell him where the good water is. This water right now is beautiful. Beautiful water here in Unlimited 1B. You see Jeff Bernard extending the lead, making about one rooster tail as they'll come down to get white the white flag. flag. Two in the books and one to go. And right now, Brad, Bernard trying to keep the number one alive, get those 400 points, put it back on the trailer, look to tomorrow. Absolutely. Jeff Bernard will come down, looks to his right, picks up a white flag, one to go. Driving to you on Goodman Real Estate presents Miss Home Street. But I'm going to tell you what. Jeff Bernard has got to be happy, but Jamie Nielsen driving the 11, Scott and Shannon Rainey, with the way this day started, the way the test session went over in the Tri-Cities when they never got the boat in the water, they have got to be very, very pleased at the way their boat is running right now. It's a 300-point run right now for Jamie Nielsen in second place. He's going to sit back. He's going to take it easy. He's going to let Bernard go. Second place at 300 points is nothing to sneeze at as they are at the top end of the race course on the third of three times around the checkered flag is hanging here on start finish. Bernard negotiates the top end of the race course, goes out to about lane two, maybe two and a half or three. He will come down. The checkered flag is waving. Jeff Bernard, winner of Heat 1B, presented by Redstone Federal Credit Union. 400 points for Jeff Bernard, but a nice run for Jamie Nielsen. He'll pick up 300 points second place fitting. I just high-fived one of their crew members. All he said to me was, baby steps. Well, they just took some good steps, Jeff. They've got to be really happy in that 11 camp, that 11 camp right now. Brad, you hit the nail on the head on that final time around for the 11, the J&Ds. 300 points for them right now with the struggles they had this morning. It's like $300,000. But two boats with heat wins here to begin the Southern Cup activity. Corey Peabody, Pinnacle Peak consultant, winner of 1A with 400. Jeff Bernard with 400 here in Goodman Real Estate presents Miss Home Street. When I came down to the Southern Cup, those were the two drivers I didn't think would get 400 after the first section. This shakes things up for tomorrow. It certainly does, and it's certain. <laughs> Is that your boat or my boat? Yours. The really bright one's yours. Okay, no, but the noise. Yeah, that was yours. Good heat. Nice heat. We'll do that dry after the two sex up. So once I hear it, I'll come and get you. Okay, I need to film them. Thank you. Right next to Emily. Okay, she said we're live already. No, you're fine. Yeah, 
Hi, live here with Jeff Bernard, winner of Heat 1B. Jeff, what did you see out there? Uh, it was a good, uh, good run after the kind of the mess we were in testing. We were kept fighting, getting closer and closer on fuel. We got it up there, made a gear change. Uh, boat's running good. Best water that we had all day. It was a lot of fun. Pan, pan up a bit. What else did you – What? Good. so water was good. Uh, what did you see fighting for lanes? Uh, it's going to be interesting with the 80 mile an hour thing, uh, being on the, the race pack now. Um, I don't think I really pushed the issue there, uh, but I don't know how much more it could have really pushed the issue. Uh, come final heat time, it, it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. But uh, the Goodman Real Estate uh, presents Miss Home Street. Uh, the whole crew did an awesome job. They've been working their butt off today. so. We're going to have a nice dinner and uh, start off in the morning with Jimmy testing and drive the first key. We'll be back in the boat later in the day, and hopefully we can do something in the final. Do you anticipate making any changes before the next heat? Uh, we'll look at data. We don't know. Um, I, that's Mike Anson's call. So we'll look at data. The boat felt really good. But like I said, that was just two boats out there and better water than we had in qualifying. So it was nice to get a, a good boat ride like that or good water and go out there with another boat and get the bearings under it. It's been a long time since we've been in these things and not much time to prepare before the first heat today, especially when we missed, we didn't go to the Tri-Cities test session. So uh, I'm feeling good now. we got to get Jimmy feeling good. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Okay. Now he wants you to go to Jamie. Hey Jamie, you guys had some problems today. Did you get those sorted out? Yeah, I think so. So we got it up and running. Good run, Jeff. Good job, up and running. The boat's coming alive. So now uh, we got a good starting point. I mean, it's only the really the second lap that Ski I had in that game. So um, congrats to Jeff for that. He drove a great race, and uh, they got a great race over there. But uh, don't go to sleep on this E11 J and D's. So as the weekend goes, I think uh, there's only one direction we're going to go up. And, uh, that's up. Thank you, Jamie. Copy all that. Okay. He said, nice job. All right. Hang up on me, would you? Thanks.